Hey friends, today I'm doing something a little bit different and showing you a few examples of recipes that I love or I guess what I eat in a day. I picked up this book from the library a while back and then I ended up actually buying a copy for myself because I like the recipe so much. It's written by Dr. Michael Greger, an MD who specializes in clinical nutrition and the book focuses on recipes that are made with whole plant foods. I love fun foods, but I find that if I eat too much processed stuff or takeout, I just really don't feel my best. So I end up cooking most of my meals from home and I stick to whole plant foods. All of these recipes are linked in the description and they can be found on Michael Greger's site, nutritionfacts.org, not sponsored, I just love him. And full disclosure, I actually filmed all these meals on separate days because it's been so gloomy, so it makes it sort of hard to get the lighting right, but these are definitely all things that I would eat in one day. Let's start with breakfast. I was never really into eating breakfast until I started incorporating smoothies into my routine a couple years back. I just love them because they're super easy to make in the morning, they're rich in nutrients, and they're easy to take with me on the go. I prefer smoothies over juices because I like to keep all the fiber in the fruit and vegetables that I eat, and I feel like I'm getting more for my money this way too. I do, you know, drink green juices every once in a while, but for the most part, smoothies are part of my daily routine. Avocado was three for a dollar at my local grocery store, which is a really good deal, so I was happy to include avocado in this smoothie on this day, but if I didn't have it, I would have added steamed, then frozen zucchini. You can't taste it, it just really thickens the smoothie like a banana or an avocado would. So I usually keep that on hand in my freezer, and this is definitely a green smoothie, but it was also really sweet and so refreshing in the morning, and really filling too. Stasher bags are my favorite way to store avocados because I find that they really help prevent browning and obviously I love that I can use them over and over again. After breakfast I made some tea. My family does this secret Santa gift exchange every year but we also tell everyone what we want. Does anyone else's family do that? Um, so I opted for this stuff. It's Numi's chocolate tea and it's not super cheap but you do get a ton of it and I felt like it was a perfect Christmas mini splurge. It came in a big plastic bag but I figured it's less plastic than using individually wrapped tea bags and some tea bags themselves even contain plastic which really freaks me out. Lunches around here are leftovers and this day was no exception, plus I found this zucchini in the fridge that needed to be eaten so I sliced it up and put it on the cast iron. I didn't add any oil because the cast iron itself is seasoned with oil so it didn't stick at all. And then I threw on some mushrooms a little bit later with the zucchini. On this day, I just made us big salads with greens that I had washed and ready in the fridge, leftover healthy mac and cheese from the cookbook, and then I also added some hummus and carrots to my bowl, some black beans to Nick's bowl, and then topped everything with avocado, grilled veggies, and toasted pumpkin seeds. I love adding toasted pumpkin seeds to bowls or salads for the zinc and a little bit of extra crunch and just because they really taste good. So I just pour them into my cast iron with no oil and move them around a little bit until they start popping. A lot of times I'll prep veggies ahead to make cooking faster for me. So I pre-washed and prepped the sweet potato. I actually sort of turned it into a rice-like consistency by just putting it in the Vitamix and blending it, and I did the same thing with cauliflower. I made zucchini noodles with my spiralizer the night before, so I also ended up spiralizing an onion for this recipe, so I only needed to clean that thing once. I love how thin it slices it, and it's just so easy. So I put that in the cast iron, then sliced up some mushrooms and zucchini and added them in once the onion was soft. And there's also a recipe for Dr. Greger's savory spice blend in this book, so I love it. It's just a really great way to add flavor without salt. So I added some of that to the veggies, and then from there I just threw in some white beans, and then poured in the cauliflower sweet potato blend, and this is why I used parchment paper because it would have taken forever to transfer otherwise. And then I also made a really quick massaged kale salad using liquid aminos, blended lemon, a little tiny bit of olive oil, garlic, and nutritional yeast, and it tasted so good with all of these roasted vegetables. I kept everything separate for this shot, but when I was eating it, I definitely mixed everything together, and it was really filling and delicious. So that's it, pretty simple, but I definitely love eating 
in this simple way, I find that it makes me feel my best. Like I said, a lot of these recipes can be found for free on nutritionfacts.org. This is not sponsored in any way. I just am really passionate about eating healthy. And so I wanted to share with you guys some of the simple things I do to feel my best. And um, yeah, these recipes are pretty inexpensive too, especially if you can buy your beans dry and make them yourself or, you know, definitely eat vegetables that are in season too. It's a lot less expensive. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.